Hey everyone, Ryan from Me Bike Escape, and in this video, I'm gonna be replacing a motor on a Rad Power Bikes Rad Wagon. Before I talk about why I'm going to be installing this motor, just one quick thing, if you are looking to purchase a Rad Power Bike and you wanna help support the channel, please consider using the link in the description before completing your purchase as it helps me continue to make videos like this one. I will also link our popular electric bike accessories list, our top e-bike brands page, and finally our electric bike discounts code page where I track the latest deals on a bunch of different electric bikes. So why am I installing a new motor on our Rad Wagon 4? When we first received our Rad Wagon 4, we started to have issues with the odometer. So it actually stuck at 40 miles and it wasn't tracking any of our mileage. It also wasn't giving our speed. And then eventually the motor stopped working altogether. I then got in touch with Rad Power Bikes and they are very quick to respond. And they said it is likely the motor. And with all the supply issues, Rad Power Bikes doesn't currently have any rear wheels for the Rad Wagon 4 in stock. So I decided to reach out to the Rad Power Bikes forum that I run, radowners.com. It's a great resource if you are looking to purchase a Rad Power Bike and you wanna hear from other folks besides myself, or you already own one and you're looking for potential upgrades, looking for advice, there's tons of information out there on the Rad Owners forum. But there is a user on the forum named Ultima and he has done a ton of customizations on his Rad Mini. So if you're curious about someone who has gone above and beyond related to customizations on their Rad Power Bike, definitely look up his username. I will link it in the description. If you're curious, you can see all the technical details of things that he has done. And I had thought that he might have a motor and he agreed to send me a replacement motor so I could put it in our Rad Wagon 4 to get us back up and running. So huge shout out to Altima for making not only this video possible, making my wife happy and making my son happy, getting him back out our, on our Rad Wagon. It is definitely our favorite electric bike. We usually take the Rad Wagon 4 and then another electric bike. So this is a staple in our electric bike fleet. We absolutely love this bike and you can actually get a sneak peek at some of the new accessories that I'll be featuring here, hopefully in the next month or so. This is the Conestoga, which is really cool. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I was able to put this motor in our Rad Wagon 4 that eventually got us back up and running. And one thing to note is Rad Power Bikes doesn't sell motors separately. They only sell the wheel assemblies from what I understand. So there's no option for you to buy a motor to just throw it in your Rad Wagon or any other Rad Power Bikes without also replacing the controller. So this is more for informational purposes and showing you how it is possible, or perhaps you really wanna soup up your electric bike, you can put a new controller on. We did a video on that. I will put it in the top right-hand corner of your screen if you're curious of what a new controller does. And then some people do opt to put a bigger motor in. So perhaps this will be helpful, but just to note, I am not an electric bike technician. This is the first time that I've actually put a motor in an electric bike, but I thought it was interesting. It was a fun project. So I thought I would share it with my viewers. So with that, let's take a closer look at how I was able to put this motor in our Rad Wagon 4. The first step is to remove the rear wheel and disconnect the motor cable and any zip ties holding the cable in place. Remove the torque arm and axle nuts with an 18 millimeter wrench. As far as tools, you will need a free wheel removal tool. We are using the one here from Bolton E-Bikes, which is made to fit over the motor cable and nut to reach that free wheel. There are other solutions here, but this is the best one. You'll also need a T20 security Torx bit with a hole in the center to match the security pin in the screws. Be sure you use a high quality hardened one and one that is made for impact wrenches is preferred because these bolts are tight. Ultima provided this Craftsman one which did the trick but it still took some work. Place the freewheel removal tool onto the cable and use an adjustable wrench to release it. Make sure that removal tool is in place. Be careful so things don't go flying like they did here. This is on tight. Hey, I did say I am not a professional. The next step is to unscrew the free wheel completely and slide it over the cable to expose the motor case. Next, remove the screws, which again, be careful because you don't want to strip them. Once they are out, I used a small flathead to get under the plate. And there it is, the motor. Pretty amazing how capable these small motors are at getting you moving.
Next, place the new motor in your wheel. As long as it is seated correctly, you should be good to go. Remember, the axle spins to get the motor cable oriented in the correct direction when you put your wheel back on your electric bike. Put the screws back and tighten the free wheel back on with the tool. And it's that easy. To be honest, it was easier to do this swap than to put the rear wheel back on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, links in the description if you want to help support eBike Escape. I really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more electric bike videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Um, gee, guess it made it.